Hey, it's me Fury. Welcome back to Mass Effect. Here we are at Novaria and we got to the labs. We met Hanalar who survived the attack of those spider thingies and he feels very bad about murdering someone basically because he shut the door. Um, there is this quarantine Oh, quarantine. The times. Uh, there was a... Um, exper experiment went wrong and some people were sickened and they are not allowing anyone to go to the labs to manufacture a cure for them. So I get to do that. And... Then there is this... Matriarchanesia. So here we are, I am, I'm here, so this is the quarantine lab, which is right there, so that's where I'm going. Next, I can't hear anything. Okay, that's better. You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. Oh, sure. I love the face paint this guy has. It looks so cool. Oh, I don't need the gun. Not yet. Anyway. Research notes. We've isolated four chemicals that can be combined to counteract the toxin. They must be mixed in a precise quantities. As each chemical is poured, the equipment will mark the minimum and maximum amount that will work. Too little or too much will spoil the results. Uh, I'm just gonna do this first. And what's in here? Oh, just more lockers. These are these are the worst. Uh, Is this like a holding cell or something? Like imagine living in a space like this. Can I just put my gun away, please? I'm not attacked. Really? This this doesn't look very nice place. Oh, just please move. And there's nothing there. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna save. I'm a little paranoid. Start mixing. Failed to make... What? No. I just... How, how do I do this? Stop. Oh, please stop doing that. Oh. So this is how you know. <laughs> That's how you do it. All right. It didn't take my flake. That's my excuse. Now, really carefully. There you go. Your mission ends here, Shepard. Oh. Ambush. No ambush. I love the way he just delivered the You're line. You're a sleeper agent for Benezia. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise, and here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free. Oop. Why do you turn your back then? All right. So we just do something like this. Gotcha. That worked well. That's how you do it. Contact Shepard. Well, she was fishy as ever. I need to. Oh, how do I? There you go. Good as new. Good as new. Let's get out of here. Commander, looks like that Asari doctor killed the guard. Poor guy. So. They came out of there. You mean the get the inorganics the Asari had with her? Venezia brought them with her. 
How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I think... Have I asked him about these? I need to know everything about the Rachni. Don't remember. I told you all I can. Okay. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. This is actually probably the first person in this game who says, I already told you that. I'll the other now. people, they just very happy yeah. to give you the same speech over and over again. If you make the mistake of asking twice. So... Oh, just props to him. He's really good. He's really the best of guys or, or people, persons, whatever um, we're supposed to call him. Him. <laughs> All right. Uh, where was that? Golden guy. Right there. Now oh, that's Dr. Holland. Here? Am I in the wrong place? Why is there a thing there? I'm right here. Oh no wait, I have to go down. Yeah yeah. Okay. I'm I'm back in game. Now I know what I'm doing. One hundred percent. I know. I know what's happening. We're back. Alright. Is that the cure? You did it? Yes, I that did. Sorry, scientist, the one in the mess hall? She just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. Well, I. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Sarah and the Spectre. Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look, the guards, they've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back mm -hmm. there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Not very nice. Oh, Paragon 24 points. And here I was saying, not very nice to steal their... Well kind of ask for their medical packs because I don't really need them that much but okay he, he gave them so so security this is this is uh, how do I move the map there you go this is something I can't go right now he said that this is like off limits for everyone including him so I have to go back to the quarantine barracks where I just washed. Oh, watch. Today is not a good day for me. And my tongue, I'm just not very good at talking today. Anyway, this way, I think I can finally access the maintenance area. This one maintenance door, and this way I can go to the secure lab where we are going to meet finally Benesia. So buckle up, it's a boss fight. Scary. Let me take my gun. There is why is there that like exclamation mark on the map? Should I use card or something? No, wait, there is an enemy there.
Why haven't I used an assault rifle before? It doesn't seem to, you know... Even though I don't really have proficiency for it, it doesn't really matter. I'm doing just fine with it. Although pistol is super effective. So I'm not mad at that. Just wondering. I'm mad at that though. <laughs> Look at I fail something like that. Oh nope. Nope. I'm not gonna be able to do this. Yeah, let's try again. Not the best day with Frogger today, it seems. There we go, it was easy. It wasn't that difficult. I'm so scared. Did I save already? <gasps> there she is! Let's go. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. You failed. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara is here because she wants to be. Not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told her about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. That helmet gotta hurt her nose. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been stricter with her. Oh. <laughs> Mom of the year of art. Oh, somebody is hurting me. them. Oh, stop. Oh, sorry, Garrus. Bad. She got to run out of you know, people who send up me. Eventually, right? She's already getting tired. Can you see? Whoa, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. There you go, and there you go, and there you go. She's shooting at everything. really good spot I just kind of wait for them to come when they're not coming then I can go to them there you go okay I had to say it's not the most accurate weapon from long distance but a lot of these fights are not from long distance so whoa <laughs> this is not over Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. 
Saren still whispers in my mind I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. We met Shiala on Pharos. She told us about Sovereign's indoctrination. It is a terror to be trapped in your mind, to beat upon the glass as your hands torture and murder. I was powerless, nothing but a tool for Saren. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space. I love this camera angle. something swathed in hot <laughs> this dust is so and good. radiation. <laughs> Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, <gasps> the Rachni inhabited oh, that region gosh. of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the queen's mind. I was not gentle. That would suck though, like, imagine if you inherited all the memories from your mother, who inherited all the memories from their mother and so on, and you would remember, like, hundreds of years of mistakes, but also great moments. That would be so interesting. How did the Rachni find it? They searched patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. No, this is the boss fight. Oh, please. <laughs> mm. Um, why is nothing happening? I died! Like, I pressed the buttons and everything, but nothing happened. Oh, this time I just wanna move. There you go. At least something happened this time. Also, I might wanna heal. Oh! Sure that doesn't happen again. All right. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Metagel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother, good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> what did she, she die from? Oh, the wounds? Oh, the wounds. Okay. 
Very touching. Lyra just witnessed her mother dying. That would suck though, like really. Okay. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange, flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen, they stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war, claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Ragnar were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. Right now, I'm just wondering how did the whole Krogan space spider war thingy go? <laughs> I just. Did they elevate the Krogan to fight the space spiders? Or just... Okay, whatever. Past is past, this is now. If and I let I already you live, would you attack do. other races again? No, we... I do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. 
It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. Well, obviously the Baracon choice is I won't kill him. And I have to remember this choice later. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Do, do I need to run? Is that like time to get out of here? Call? I think it is. Wait a minute, that's locked. I have to go the other way. Okay, so I quickly checked um, how does the thing go. And yes, the Rachni were kind of like threatening the Citadel space and every everyone. And the Kroken were uplifted to fight the Rachni, and the Kroken eradicated the Rachni, and then they just kind of turned on their creators and started, you know, then was the Kroken Wars, then they started, wait a minute. Can I take... Oh! There are tons of enemies in there somewhere. And then the Krogan, you know, started creating problems. Can't go there. No way. I have to summon. Where are the enemy though? No idea. Did they come out from there? Should I have just stayed there and fight them? I don't know. I'm just completely lost by now. And where am I? Rift station. Purse controls. What does that mean? Who are you? What is this? Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni. Mass produce them. Create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Obviously, they were wrong. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <sighs> I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates burst of Neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. 
things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Ah, uh, the people? There are tons of people there. Once the purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. Like, honestly, wouldn't that literally kill everyone? There is a purge. Wait a minute. I can't go back. I'm oh boy, I'm stuck here. I guess I have to do this. I can't go tell them to evacuate. Oh, I have no idea. Like, am I screwing this up somehow or something? Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Are there any survivors in here? Lady Benezia, an executive secretary of Binary Helix, is on the operations deck. There are no other living crew members within the oh, lab structure. Oh, okay, so it's only going to purge the lab, lab structure and not the area where the people have already ev been evacuated too. So let's just I need get information going. On the neutron purge. The neutron purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. What exactly does this thing do? The purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. We would be wise to avoid touching any controls without reading the instructions. That is advisable for all systems within this facility. How hard can it be? Just press the button. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. We're moving on. Logging Why out, didn't he give it to me immediately? Alright, Tartakovsky. I am feeling not so well. Okay. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will give Nera destruct. Well, great. Yet, para show. Oh, that's. Yeah, I totally agree, Lara. Now it's not the time or ever to shoot you in the face. Can I activate it myself? Online. How can I help you? Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Ah. Oh. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. We're moving on. Logging okay, out, so Commander. I need to go get the code from somewhere. No, wait. His body. I have to get the codes from his body. I thought he gave the card for me already, and then he should have said, like, some magic word. And Mira was like, uh oh, you didn't have the magic word, and I thought I have to go Online. get it. How can I help you? Let's try it one more time. Activate the neutron purge. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Without I have the code. code authorization. Code input 8750200079. Code Omega local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. I guess I have to take the RAM. <gasps> take a look! Just how many are there? Oh, can I heal? Heal, heal, heal. 
faster. Oh, I died. I just tried to rush to the... I need, I need, oh, well, first of all, I need to heal. And then I need shotgun. There is millions of them. Oh, those Garrus, oh yeah. Oh, this is not good. Oh, did the birch already work? I thought I thought I have to run from here too, but it just kind of worked down there. Now that's open again. You know, maybe that was open all all the time. I'm totally lost. I just want to get away from here. This is the tram, I think, that Han Olar took and he closed the door and the woman died because he did that. There was like hundreds of... Oh! What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? Okay. Um, wow, it just... Okay. That was unexpected. Um... My question is, if I come from the very beginning, like, to Novaria first, and I get the Moon Relay code, can I just skip Ferris and Vermeer? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. Look, this is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Sure. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? Mm -hmm. And then released the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Well, that was... surprisingly a short and easy conversation. I thought they would go a lot kind of more on me. I am just so confused. I just I took a drum and suddenly I am at my ship. I'm of course very happy that I didn't have to drive all the way back or anything, but it is a little bit confusing. I just wonder. I hope I left nothing unfinished there, but I don't think I did. I think I did everything that there was to do. So let's talk to Lyra. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Well, okay. I am surprised honestly surprised she didn't have any more to say that's one guy i really don't feel like talking to right now next place that i 
go to on um, the main quest. I don't know if there is any side quests, but um, the main quest is obviously Vermeer, where we um, I have to make that choice, which Twitter made for me. Looking for supplies? So somebody's gonna die. Let's see what you it's got. It's gonna be so you sad. Bet, Commander. I don't even know who can wear medium human armor other than me. These are bad. That's pretty good. Hmm. No. Do you have something new to talk to me? Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salion, too. I'd convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Wow. Okay, so he, he just made a huge shift from more of a renegade type into more of paragon type. How about Ashley? Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure, if you have time. Figured you'd be busy with tactical briefings and whatnot. Don't know what I think about us attacking today, of all days. Kind of an ill omen. You mean on the anniversary of the first contact war? The end of it, yeah. My family always marks it. I'm the only Williams here. I guess you'd be the only other one interested in it. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. <laughs> Oops. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shanxi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops, but when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion from the head, I go to Alenko. When I want one from the heart, I go to you. I also play a mean game of pool. <laughs> but anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. I kind of like Ashley. 
This is gonna be very interesting trilogy. I never ever had her with me all three games. Ever. So I'm really looking forward to that. And just seeing how she, you know, grows and changes during um, second and third game as well. Really interesting. Never a dull moment with you, <laughs> Sure or not. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. <laughs> but I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. What did he want you to do? He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. Ouch, ah, uh, so? <laughs> I can see where that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. Which one of you made it first? It was a tie. I brought back his head. She got the rest of him. As far as I know, we both got paid. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what'd you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softy. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it. I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious, but if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least, for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. And he believed you. Ha 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 ha. He kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. So long, Rex. <laughs> Great Shepherd. story. So let's see if um, Holly has something new to say. It feels like we're getting oh. near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. We're not exactly very close to the end yet. It won't be much longer. 
One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Tally. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. See you later. Alright. Well, should I speak with Caden? Maybe he has something new to say. Everybody else has something new to say. And he's gonna die very soon, so let's go talk to him. Let's not just exclude him because he's gonna be done very soon. Hey, lover boy. Oop. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's gotta be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorium. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. That's... Oh, well, I was gonna say, like, that's people, but the other races are not people. They're aliens, and they have the same problem as we people have, so wow. We are lost. So can I guess this will add to your resentment against aliens? Resentment? Against aliens? I mean, I'm not... <laughs> what makes you think that? I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were Who's weird, Vernus? superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. His it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. Oh, yeah. She just wanted her. a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon. Right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's mm. a noble thing. <laughs> mm. Maybe my intentions were noble. But I... I lost exactly. control. I killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Nice. Nice save. So, yeah. That's it. I think... I don't know if Joker has anything new to say. Let's go see. But um, next episode, I'm gonna pop by Citadel, maybe. I'm gonna see if there is any new side quests. And if not, then we're heading to Burmire. And I try to remember and go through the equipment 
for everyone. I was gonna say I don't have any because I sold everything, but I already picked up some stuff. Plus uh, these upgrades, so I tried to check them if I just remember. I'm gonna do that off camera. Why oh, am I glad to be off of Novaria? Thank you. I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. <laughs> I have to go. All right, see ya. I am not corporate. So why are you saying that? I'm Alliance, and Alliance, as far as I know, is not corporate. So yeah, um, this was this episode. We met and witnessed, well, basically killed um, Lyra's mom. I'm actually going to park my character right next to this stuff, so maybe when I start the game next time, I will remember to check them. So next episode, it's gonna be seeing if there is anything extra I can do. And while I'm at Citadel, I'm gonna see if there is still some conversation with my biggest fan. Um, and then I think it's Vermar. It's just starting to get towards the end game. So it's gonna be lots of action, especially if it's Vermeer Vermeer next episode. So yeah, definitely, definitely getting there. I hate that car. Not cool. Ugh. Anyway, so yeah, I see you next time. Bye.